Hi, uh, Steve Midwell here, the resident eccentric at the Lendelson Center Spark Lab. I'm with you today to talk about one of our, my favorite inventors, and certainly one of the most important inventors and inventors in American history, and that is Mr. Thomas Alva Edison. And uh, today we're going to recreate one of his most uh, significant and well-known inventions. As you might guess, it's the nice incandescent light bulb. Before we start to, uh, to actually go about building this bulb, let's go ahead and head down to the to the museum's exhibit on uh, the history of electric lighting called Lighting a Revolution. Alrighty, we are now in the Lighting a Revolution exhibit here in the American History Museum. And uh, there's a space in this exhibit dedicated to talking about Edison and how he invented the that famous light bulb. Uh, but instead of just showing you the, some of the objects on display in the exhibit, we actually have um, an expert here with us, Hal Wallace. He's the curator of the electricity uh, collection here in the museum and expert on um, all things dealing with um, electricity and with the uh, invention of Edison's light bulb. And uh, Hal has uh, very generously brought out some of the uh, some of the his favorite objects in the collection, different and historic light bulbs. And this is a real treat because normally nobody really gets to see these. These are from behind the scenes. So this is actually it's a big honor to, uh, to 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 be standing here with some of the the main points in electrical history. And so uh, Hal, can you? Good morning, Steve. And this this is exactly the kind of. This is exactly the reason we have these kind of objects behind the scenes, so that when you want to get into the details of how something was created, like all the filaments, that we can actually bring the materials out and, and show folks step by step exactly what happened and exactly what everything, uh, how everything works. I, I noticed that um, on Edison's first patent for the light bulb, it was dated 1879. Mm -hmm. So, and he told me this was a demonstration from 1879. So, does this this has to be one of the early? This is this is one Edison of the early one of the early survivors. Let's put it that way. They're, they're Edison, like many inventors, treated his light bulbs as experimental apparatus. Uh, when the experiment was done, a lot of them went into the into the garbage pan. Um, some survived, some experimental lamps, some of these demonstration, early demonstration lamps survived, and a number of early commercial lamps survived. But that makes it even more special that that one has, uh, has made it all this time. Exactly. So what, um, can you tell us a little bit about, uh, a little bit about this, this bulb here, the really big... This one's, a, this one's a work of art, isn't it? <laughs> it truly this is. is. A real work of art. This is a first generation tungsten filament. It's from Europe. Uh, it was made in Germany about 1905. In 1904, about four different teams of inventors in Germany uh, around Europe all came up with first generation tungsten filament. It's almost simultaneously. This is one of them. There, uh, this is one of the commercial models, early commercial model. There are 12 individual filaments in here because they couldn't make them bendable. Uh, they had to make them as like a hairpin shape because the, the wire is very brittle and it can't bend. So they made them in a hairpin shape and then wired them in in series. So there are 12 individual filaments in here wired in four circuits. So all these copper lines coming on the bottom. Each pair of copper lines represents a different circuit. I must admit I haven't figured out exactly what this lamp was supposed to be used for. Hey, Hal, um, we're standing here in front of a, a depiction of Edison as the Wizard of Menlo Park. Yes. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, pictures of him. I think it captures the public's uh, perception of Edison as a, as a wizard or as a kind of a, you know, magical connotations mm -hmm. because of his, uh, his ability to invent these, these incredible uh, machines. And uh, I think this is an appropriate place to, uh, to leave because I'm, I'm very... Uh, I really appreciate you uh, being here, and I, I know that uh, to us, you will always be the wizard of the electricity collection, and uh, I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. For our experiment, we're behind the scenes in the Spark Labs prep lab area, in the laboratory space here in the, in the, in the prep lab. But what we've got here is we've, we've, we've produced four different uh, light bulbs, and we've made them out of, uh, out of 
these little uh, glass jars that you can buy at a craft store. They come with the cork and we've just simply pushed the wire through the cork and created a, uh, a metal filament inside. And the filament of the light bulb is the part that glows red hot and it's also the part that uh, when, it, when it glows it produces the light that we, we see. So the, the filament is the, the glowing part here of the bulb. We're going to try our experiment with four different uh, types of material for the filaments. Now we know originally Edison used paper and then bamboo and then tungsten, which was a metal. And uh, so we're going to try four different types of metal here. Copper wire, aluminum foil, uh, some steel wire from a picture frame uh, hanging wire, and uh, nickel chromium wire, wire called nichrome. And uh, for a power source, we, we like to, we've tried several different batteries. And what we've gotten the best results from are these uh, six volt lantern batteries that you can buy at a hardware store or at a camping supply or uh, the big box stores. Um, these, are, these are actually fairly easy to find. We're gonna try the bulb with the copper filament first. So there's a copper wire uh, filament and we're just simply going to touch these two wires to the, the leads on the battery and is anything happening? No. So let's try our next sample here. It's a aluminum foil. So we've just cut a simple strip of aluminum foil like you have at home and attached it across the, across the, uh, the wires here. Let's try this out. Let's just simply touch it to the battery. And still nothing seems to be happening. Um, so in this case, since copper and aluminum foil didn't work, I thought we would try a piece of steel wire. Okay, and I actually took this from a, a piece of picture frame hanging wire and just simply um, unwound it and pulled off one of, the, one of the strands. So we have a thin strand of uh, steel wire. Go ahead and plug that into the bulb. And let's go ahead and attach this to the battery. And it gets red hot. And it seems to be seems to be working, right? The problem with uh, the steel wire is if we can take this out carefully and look at, oops, it actually broke when I was taking it out, but here we go. You can actually see that the steel was burning. And even if I, if I rub my fingers on it, you can see there's soot here on my fingers where the steel was actually burning. And so eventually what's gonna happen with this is the steel is gonna burn up and cause the light bulb to burn out in a, in a very short time. Our last, uh, our last test bulb here is we're using a, a a wire called nichrome and uh, these are oftentimes used for in science experiments uh, because it has a very high uh, melting point and it also has a lot of resistance in the wire so it doesn't quite conduct electricity um, very well but that, that really in this case makes it uh, makes it a good uh, a good test candidate here let's go ahead and connect it to the to the battery and look at that, it's uh, glowing pretty brightly. If we leave it on here, we can see how long this will actually, this will actually glow. But it glows uh, fairly well. And so although it's not as bright as, it's not nearly as bright as a modern bulb, it is bright enough to, um, to demonstrate how well those the early light bulbs would have um, would have worked. Okay, so we have a winner, the nichrome. This wraps up our Edison light bulb experiment. You can find a whole list of uh, hands-on invention activities at our website, www.sparklab.si.edu. And so, until next time, be innovative.